Hello scholars, we are back and what are we talking about today? We are still talking about this thing called matter. What's the matter with matter? I don't think anybody really knows, but today we will understand that matter has measurable physical properties. Remember, it can be measured. Physical properties normally deal with our senses. We can see it. We can feel it. The table was very smooth. The ring was very rough. I can hear it. He was talking softly or he was talking really loud. We can smell it. These things can be sensed and they can be measured. I'm going to fix my bow tie right there. I'm going to straighten it out. Why? Because they are physical properties. And we can use these properties to classify matter. And remember, classify, we break into groups. And what physical property are we going to be talking about today? None other than magnetism. Magnetism. Don't you love magnets? We have big magnets. We can have medium-sized magnets. And we can have small magnets. There's like magnets everywhere. Like I've got magnets for every situation known to life. There are horseshoe magnets, like the one that I showed you last time. There are bar magnets. We have circular magnets, donut magnets. Magnets are everywhere and magnets are so cool. Why are magnets so cool? Because magnets involve a force called magnetism. What is magnetism? All right, so every magnet, and you normally see them, they'll have like a, some of them have red and blue colors. That's really just to show you a difference between the North Pole and the South Pole of a magnet. You'll see the N and the S on there. Where's my little camera? The N and the S, and I'm going to flip it up so that it's right side up. I hope that's right. I'll do one each direction so that you'll definitely be able to see it wherever you're at. A North and a South Pole. Now, here's the really cool thing about magnets. Magnets are set up to where they either will attract or to repel, to push away. So attract, they're drawn together. Repel, they push away. We call that magnetism. And that magnetism is set up to where opposites attract. So if I take the north and the south and those two fields come together, they're going to attract to each other. See, those are attracting. But if I try to put the north and the north together, those are going to push away. They don't want to be together. They don't want to be together. They don't want to be together. Why? Why do you not want to be together? It's such a tough situation. And that's what magnets do. And magnetism is a force, but it's also a physical property that we can use to classify objects. We can classify objects whether they are magnetic, meaning they do attract, or they are non-magnetic meaning that they do not have the force of magnetism. There's no attracting, there's no repelling, there's nothing. They just sit there. For example, this piece of paper is non-magnetic. I can rub the magnet on it, I can hit the magnet on it. It doesn't matter what I do, it is not going to evidence the physical property of being magnetic. It's not going to have magnetism. It's just wood. It's not gonna happen, it's a piece of paper. This used to be a tree somewhere in some forest that we probably should not have cut down. Conservation, conservation. We've got to conserve our trees. What? So we've learning that this is a bar magnet. So we have different types of magnet. We know about a horseshoe magnet. We know about, we have these things called donut magnets. And there's really cool things that we can do with magnets. What I'm gonna have you do today is, let's see if I can even see this on the camera. One of the really cool things that we can do with magnets is we can take things like a paper clip and all this is is a paper clip and tape you can actually do this at home it's so easy if you can get anything that's magnetic and if you have a magnet and i know some of you are saying but i don't have a magnet yes you do go to the refrigerator you know that thing that your mom uses to stick your report card grade against the refrigerator on the back side of that you will find a magnet that you can use for science and this is a really cool investigation that we can do with a paper clip it's called making it levitate. And no, I am not a magician. This is actually science. You'll notice that in between there, there is space because the magnetic pull from these magnets is attracting the iron that is in this paper clip and it's causing it to levitate. If I remove the magnet, it falls. If I remove the magnetism, it falls. But if I bring it back, 
I can literally bring this all the way around and all the way around. And isn't that cool? Watch this. We will go closer to the camera, further away from the camera, closer to the camera. Let's do circles. Can we do circles? I don't know. I'm going to try to do circles and continue and talking about everything else. It's kind of like rubbing your head and patting your belly at the same time. Rubbing your head and patting your belly at the same time. I was never really successful with it, but I am able to move this magnet and talk. So today, what I want you to do is I want you to find a magnet if you can. Magnet on your refrigerator, magnet anywhere. And I want you to go on a magnetism scavenger hunt. And what a magnetism scavenger hunt is, all you're going to do is you're going to go to different things in your house and we're just going to test to see what kinds of things are magnetic and what kinds of things are non-magnetic. That is your task should you choose to accept it. And when you get to the end for your journal activity, I want you to create a definition of what you would use to describe magnetism. How would you describe magnetism? What words would you use? How would you put that into a definition for somewhere else? So we're going to have a magnetism scavenger hunt. I could say, no, nope, the table is non-magnetic, but I might find something else, maybe even another magnet that is magnetic. That is your task should you choose to accept it. And by choose to accept it, I mean absolutely love science because science is amazing and magnetism is a physical property that we can use to classify magnet, uh, <laughs> classify matter into groups. You guys are awesome because you're geniuses, you're scholars. Have an absolutely wonderful day and we will be back on tomorrow with more amazing science to talk about.